We'll talk about your board a little bit then, okay. since we're talking about tuning. You've got a, a bunch of pedals there. Yeah. Um, are you using all of them for me? All of them for you, Don. Only, <laughs> only the best. More is more yeah, for right. you. Well, uh, you know, there is a, I call it a meat and potatoes kind of board. I actually have two different types of uh, delay units. One is a multi-effect unit that has more than just delay. Um, it has a lot of different filtering effects. It has reverb. Now on this song particularly, I've got two different delays going in two separate units so that I can have a quarter note delay and an eighth note delay so they're playing off of each other. But aside from that, there's really not a lot else going on in the signal right now. You, you see all of this front half of my board is, is what I would call a front end of an amplifier. It's distortion pedals and overdrive and compression. And so as needed, I put them on, but right now I don't have anything on but the delay. So what is the name of the board you're using? What do you recommend in terms of gear uh, for the guitar players out there? Well, I, I could say a great staple. If you want a lot of bang for your buck, the uh, Line 6 M9 is one of the better units that you can buy to get everything from delay, distortion, EQ, compression, filtering, modulation effects. How much does that cost? Uh, Three ninety nine, four hundred and something dollars, I think. And you lead worship at your church uh, every week. Well, just about every week. When they let me. Yeah, and uh, you're leading with guitar. Yep, acoustic always. or electric. Uh, both. Uh, most often with acoustic, typically because I, I carry the band, yeah. and it usually is the dominant instrument, and so rhythmically it allows me to to kind of set. set the pace a lot lot yeah. better. So I love playing it with electric, but I lead differently from electric, and it always depends if there's another electric player there. If it's somebody I'm confident in and I can step back, then it's great. I can just I can carry rhythmically what I need to on electric or acoustic. How do you have enough um, discipline to not uh, use all the pedals <laughs> on your board on a Don Moen song? Well, you know, we could. <laughs> We should try that sometime. We'll, we'll do that in a minute. It, it makes for a big mess. And the truth is, I, the reason I have so many sometimes is we travel a lot, as you know. Um, and everywhere we go, it's different. Every night an amp is different. Uh, and so I literally have five or six different pedals knowing that one of those is going to likely sound okay through a particular amp or another. So I don't need to step on all five or six because they do similar, if not the same things. So I'm just picking the right color as we go.